It's a lovely day out today. Perfect weather for playing with science in Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. You join me, Cool Dude Clem, in the lab? Alright, my room. And I've built another tester coil. It's not a vacuum tube tester coil. It's a solid state Tesla coil. I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to build one. So I have. And this one's got it all. It's got audio modulation. It's got phase lock loop. It's got an interrupter. What more could you want? And this is the circuit for those of you curious. I will put up a much better screenshot of this than the camera can get. So I've built that all up. And now we're going to test it. I think we're going to see a few puffs of magic smoke before we get any success with this thing because for one thing I don't know if my primary is the right way around also I don't know whether my current transformer is connected the right way around I mean I know which has got to go to which end but I mean I don't know if I've got the phasing right so we'll just have to see and I've even gone as far as to make a star point ground so what have we got here let's take a closer look well better start with the coils themselves so I've got about, I don't know, maybe 10 turns of wire wrapped around a 4 inch maybe core. I don't have the exact diameters. I'm going to say 4 inches. It might be a bit more than that. I'll put up an annotation with the actual measurements if I'm wrong, which I probably am. And this is my secondary with God knows how many turns of fine wire that came out of a transformer. And this is the power supply or the high voltage power supply, one transformer which is center tapped, a couple of rectifier diodes, I know those look like transistors but they're actually diodes because they only got two legs on them, a couple of nice beefy capacitors, those are 8200 microfarads rated for 50 volts, no sorry, rated for 63 volts, so that's about uh, just over 16,000 microfarads, so that's going to be a nice smooth supply. And now we move on to the brains of the circuit itself. Well, here's my MOSFET with a capacitor across it, just like in the schematic. There's my current transformer. Again, I don't even know if the core of that is going to be suitable for the frequencies this is working at. I just hope that it does. And of course, the actual brains of the circuit itself, the control board with a CD4046 PLL chip is the main part it's a 555 timer for the interrupter and here are all the controls to set it up so it works nice and good so that's to adjust the frequency and this is to adjust the interrupter so you can adjust the on and off time and one of my hard drives is making a very weird noise at the moment but screw it it's now time to test this thing okay so it's time to test this thing I switched over to the other microphone, which is up there, so don't have to hold the other microphone while I'm talking. So first of all, I'm going to switch on the control circuitry to make sure nothing blows up. Alright, so that is now active. And now I'm very briefly going to turn on this transformer here and see if we get anything. Well, I could have my secondary the wrong way around, of course, that's always an option. This MOSFET is... It's warm, so it's obviously getting something, so I'm going to... Actually, first, I'm going to see if we've actually got any oscillation whatsoever. So, I'm going to hook up my oscilloscope with a piece of wire coming out of the thing, so we can see if we have any sign of oscillation. Alright, well, I thought first, before I do the antenna test, to make sure that this coil is actually doing anything, I thought I would just measure the output of the oscillator chip to make sure that's actually doing something, and uh, it appears to be, if I just put my crudely made probe on the gate of the MOSFET here, see we got a waveform, bit more sinusoidal than I thought it would be, but it's at least working. Okay, so I know this part is working. 
Although I've noticed these two transistors here are rather warm. That may be because I've just used BC547 and 557 instead of BD139 and 140, but I don't have any BD140s, so I just have to settle for those. So anyway, I'm going to do a quick on and off again and just see if anything shows up on the scopes screen. So let's see if anything shows up. It's definitely oscillating. Haven't got any breakout yet. Let's just see if it's actually producing any wireless energy with the infamous fluorescent light bulb. Okay. That's not much better than the Slayer Exciter though. So it says to reverse the primary phasing if breakout isn't achieved. So I've just gone and done that. And... Yay! Okay, well I'll have to use the camera's microphone from now on because it interferes way too much with my uh, other microphones. Let's try the interrupter. This might get a little bit noisy. But hey, what's high voltage without a little bit of noise? So let's see what we get. Ooh. is I want to make sure that my current transformer is the right way around so what I've done is I've just reversed where the secondary is connected so let's see what we get this time okay we don't get anything so I think we had it right the first time so I'll just put it back the way it was like so I know that's not much, but it, but it's a start. Anyway, next step, audio modulation. Oh yes, I've got to try that out. All right, the moment has come for music. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna upload this onto YouTube now and see if I get nabbed by the copyright police. And until next time, goodbye. Recording at six six thousand kilobits. Hi, and today I will show you my Tesla coil. This is my face lock loop Tesla coil. And I will be testing it today. And ow! I'm going to the surface. It's a beautiful day outside. Yesterday I saw a deer. If you solve this next test, I'll let you ride an elevator all the way to the top and I'll tell you about the deer again. So I have switched over to my other microphone so I don't have to hold a microphone in my hand while I'm operating the coil. And I'm talking like that guy who has stage accidents on his YouTube channel. I have absolutely no idea why.